it has been a minute since I've seen all of you and I uh, hope that you are making it okay during this interesting time. Um, not even going to say the, the C word. Uh, so anyways, uh, hope you're all doing fine and well, just got, you know, some stuff that you can be doing uh, musically to break up that time uh, from you know, studying math or reading or other subjects which are awesome, but you know, it's great to get some music in there too. So we just have <clears throat> a few goals that we're going to uh, go through for today. And our first objective is I can perform all the notes we have learned in class. So yes, we will still do some rhythm dojo. And for my third graders, um, we'll be doing some whole notes too. So if you're not sure on how to do the whole notes, that's okay. I'll explain right quick. Uh, number two, I can improvise. And I believe we all know how to do that. And number three, I can make pitch instruments from household objects. So you can see we got some instruments here uh, that we're going to explore and you can um, make some from other household objects as well. Uh, but it's very important that you ask your parents if you do try and make some with glasses or things that are fragile, uh, yeah, please, please ask them to make sure that it's okay or maybe they need to supervise you if you are uh, making these. Um, and I believe that is it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, with Rhythm Dojo, uh, Kung Fu fighting as usual, and we will play it using, I don't know, pick uh, an object that would be non-pitched. So I'm gonna grab one that is common, and that is a pillow. So uh, I'm gonna use a pillow, and we're gonna go through the rhythms, and let's talk about uh, the whole notes right quick. So. If you're third grade, we maybe have talked about whole notes a little bit here and there, but they are notes that get four counts. So they will last for four. So if we count that, it's gonna be like this. Ta, 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 ta. Of course, if you are in the fifth grade, you are just counting using numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and so on, okay? So please use a system that we've talked about in class <clears throat> using the ta's and toddies if you're third or fourth grade. Uh, if you're in the fifth, go ahead and use numbers. And if, if you're in the third or fourth grade and you would like to try using the numbers, that is fine. By all means, just give it a shot. Uh, see how it works for you. Um, and yeah, so let's get started. <clears throat> Already got a video put, pulled up. We're going to do some improvising while we uh, do Kung Fu fighting as well. But we're going to start off with our longest notes and go down to the eighth notes and then just listen and I'll change it up uh, as we go, okay? So, here we go. Starting with Kung Fu fighting. Rhythm Dojo. Whole notes. There we go. Whole notes. Or Hold on. 
Looks ready and go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Half notes. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, quarter notes. One, two, eighth notes. Go. some improvising we have reviewed some of the rhythms that we've done in class not the rest of course we just went through the notes uh, see next let's talk about the pitched instruments okay so uh, remember if you are talking about pitch instruments you're talking about instruments that produce a pitch so if it makes a sound that you can sing or hum then that's probably a pitched instrument this, of course, that I was playing the whole time, does not produce pitch. This is a non-pitched instrument. Uh, these, however, the glasses, they will produce a pitch, okay? Um, and like I said earlier, uh, make sure it's okay with your parents to do this. Um, and if they need to supervise you while you're doing that, then that'd be great. Um, so let's check out and see what, uh, how we're going to do this. So um, the way I recommend doing it is... To get the pitch that you would like, I would fill a glass gradually at the sink and tap it with a utensil. I'm just using forks, kind of like my drumsticks. And I would tap it to see which pitch I like. Now, can you guess, as I fill up the glass more and more with water, if it's a lot of water, is that going to be a lower pitch or a higher pitch? If you said lower, you are correct, okay? And I have two glasses that are the same size to demonstrate. So this one has more water. This one has less water. Let's listen to the one that has less. Okay? Here's the one that has more. A little bit lower. This one sounds ah. Uh, this one sounds like ah. Uh, okay? So that's cool, okay? And remember, uh, when we're talking about pitches too, pitch has to do with the highness or the lowness of a sound. So we'll come back to that word here at the end. Improvise, we know, is uh, making up something on the spot. Pitches are, uh, they deal with the highness or the lowness of the sound. Okay, so I, what I did is I made five different pitches and you can arrange it however you want to, but I wanted to make Something kind of like the uh, the glockenspiels and the metallophones that we have at school. So um, here's my lowest pitch. I have it arranged from lowest to highest, which is kind of a cool way to do it. So here's my first pitch. My next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay, so I have bum, 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 bum. Okay, so those are all different pitches, low to high. Now, something else that we're going to talk about we haven't done in a while is the word timbre. T-I-M-B-R-E, timbre. Do you remember what timbre is? Oh, some of you say you do, some of you say you don't. Okay, well, timbre... If you said it has to do with the quality or the character of the sound, you are correct, okay? So let's take the forks for instance, all right? Um, if I hit it on this side, that can produce one kind of sound, a character sound. Let's see what happens if I hit it on the thicker side. It's maybe a little bit harder sound, a little bit harsher. Let's see what happens. 
maybe I can try hitting it on the side of the glass instead. Let's try uh, this end of the fork again. Okay. Again, with the other side, the thicker side. That is definitely a different timbre, okay? It's a little bit harsher, and it's got a little bit stronger of a sound too. So it's stronger in dynamics or volume, however you want to say it. Okay? Um, so let's see what we're going to do here first. With whatever instruments you choose to uh, make, your pitched instruments, um, I just suggest, you know, you improvise on them. You make up whatever you want to. See if you can make up your own uh, melody, make up your own song using pitched instruments. And I'll just demonstrate, I'm going to make up something here, okay? Swap the sides if I want to. And you can also harmonize with them. You don't have to hit just one at a time. You can hit two if you want to. See, is there any other way you can think of just experimenting with the, the instruments? Because we can harmonize, we can hit one at a time. Uh, just experiment, see what else you can play along with. You can even pull up some music or beats online uh, to play along with. That could be really cool too. Um, so yeah, there you go, okay. So let's see what we talked about again today. We talked about uh, pitch, of course. Pitch is the highness or the lowness of a sound. And what does it mean to improvise? Yeah, send me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm okay. Uh, it means to... Make up whatever you want to on the spot. And then what is timbre? Why, yes, it is the character or the quality of the sound. Like with the forks earlier when I took this side, I took this side. Mm, can't really hear much of a difference there, but definitely if I hit it on the side of the glass. Okay, sounds kind of cool, timbre. Um, so I believe that is, yes, all that we talked about. And we reviewed our rhythms to our quarter notes, eighth notes, half notes, and whole notes, okay? So yeah, just have some fun um, uh, making up some instruments, uh, pitched instruments uh, around the house. So uh, try to make those, and it has to be something that uh, makes a pitch so that if you can sing it, then you know it's something that produces a pitch, okay? Um, but again, if you use glasses or anything that's fragile, just check with your parents. Make sure that it's okay to do that first. So anyway, hope you have fun doing this and I will see you all soon.